come here as, the, as a walk-on and then get a play right away? Uh, it's very humbling. I mean, a lot of hard work did come into it. I mean, Joel Velasquez was a hell of a person to compete against. And so at the end of the day, it just, it's, it's awesome. It's a dream. I'm living a dream right now. So with to be put in those high pressure situations right away you know Saturday you're kicking in overtime on the road what was that like to be put in those situations right away and then and then to deliver um well I was I was definitely nervous <laughs> but I knew my team needed me and I really wanted to win that game and I I definitely wouldn't have made him without my holder or uh, my snapper Nick and Quinn and then the line so we just had great operations and I'm glad they went through Talked to Coach Harson and Coach Riddle and stuff, but what, you know, how how'd you get here to this point? Uh, you know, how'd you end up at BSU and just to take us through your background a little bit? Yeah, so that's like the number one story that everyone wants to hear. Um, I originally played for Bethune Cookman University uh, my freshman year of college back in 2014, and uh, I kind of had a rough experience there, and so I took a break from football for a while, and then I got back on the horse <laughs> and uh, started working as hard as I could because I knew I just I wanted better for myself and I was still chasing that dream, and you know D2 offers came in. Uh, a couple FCS offers came in and then I started reaching the big schools and NCA, uh, NC State came down in November and they really liked me and before I was about to come on my visit they uh, special teams coordinator ended up getting fired or going to another university so uh, I kind of didn't have a place to go so I just kind of like looking at football programs and like it's been said before I kind of googled good culture football programs and Boise State came up and I just knew I wanted to be a part of some place that had kind of a good family feeling and some place where I knew I'd just have a great time. And uh, I ended up getting hold of Riddle and he told me to come on out and the rest is history. I mean, they didn't guarantee you anything other than a you know tryout, right? You, you enrolled in class and stuff, not knowing if you're yeah, even gonna be um, on the team? Yeah, that's right, They uh, that's a good question. They, did. <laughs> they didn't guarantee me anything, but uh, I mean, I knew I put in the work and I just bet on myself at the end of the day. I believed in myself. How did, how did you, I mean, it sounds simple, but how, how did you get a hold of Riddle? I mean, not like, didn't you just like, uh, so, you know what I mean? so uh, college recruiting is just a giant carousel, and uh, you're just through email and just calling, and blowing coaches up so I tell you no or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I just sent a couple emails to Riddle, and then he just ended up watching my film and getting back to me. So you didn't annoy him? No, it was too much. No, not too much. <laughs> so, so were you, at, were you at a community college then back home? Uh, no, I just took classes online at a community college. Okay. And, yeah, and just trained. Did you did you train right away, or, or did you? Oh, uh, I ended. Out of, uh, I ended. Yeah, sorry. Um, I uh, after my spring semester at uh, Bethune Cookman, I wasn't involved with the football team anymore, and I kind of just needed a break. So I ended up going up to Maine for the summer, and I was a camp counselor in all boys camp, and uh, I loved that. That was awesome. And then I kind of just I just knew that I wanted to play football again, and so I just kind of got back to the basics of working hard and just doing drill and drills over and over again. And then just building up my confidence to get to where I am today. How did that time away help you? Uh, <laughs> helped me a lot. It made me, uh, this affected me a big time. I mean, I, I wanted so many things for myself. It kind of drove me every day to get out of bed and work as hard as I possibly could to be in this moment. Like I said, I'm living a dream and this is what I'm chasing and it's awesome. I mean, look at this facility. I mean, look at the fans we have. It's just awesome. Could you imagine, I mean, uh, when you when you're time away from football and you decide that you, know, you really want to pursue this thing, that in game two, you'd be, you know, you'd be attempting these game winning or losing kicks in overtime in a Pac-12 place? Yeah, I mean, that's also a part of the dream, right? I mean, I, I, I thought about it, you know, this is the kind of things that keep you up at night, hitting a game winner, because you, you want to do that for your team. And uh, when Saturday came and I knew we were going to overtime, I was like, well, it's going to come down to me, or it might. And so I just knew that I had to make those for my team. And like I said, we, I wouldn't have made them if I didn't, you know, our operations weren't clean, we didn't have a good holder or a long snapper. I mean, everything was just, it helped me, so. This might kind of be a silly question, but I mean, were you, were you nervous at all? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, like little nerves hit me before I ran on the field, but then I just went back to the basics and, you know, I, I just went back to what I know. I just follow the same technique and hit the ball and it'll go through. You know, don't overthink it. Don't think, oh, if I miss this, we're going to lose. Just make the kick and worry about the next one. At one point, we were led to believe that Joel was going to be the kicker, the punter, everything, and and then he prodded out the first game, and you got the job. Now it seems like, did you come on in camp, or did you, how did that competition go late, and how did you end up being the number one guy? Um, like I said, Joel is very talented. I mean, he has a booming of a kick, but I mean, we just competed very heavily back and forth through fall camp, and then you know, at the end of the day, I kind of just had a better showing throughout the last week, and then I got my shot, and I haven't looked back yet. That was a. Uh... I know Tyler Ross kind of hangs around practice, and he's kind of known as a guy that I mean, he'd bring the iPad out to practice, and he'd have immediate response when he was here. And has, he, has he impacted your game at all? Yeah, uh, he's helped out uh, tremendously. He lets me know little things like during practice if I miss, like what I did wrong or what I can do better on my technique. And he also helps me focus during games. You know, he sends me pregame texts and after texts and just reminds me when to relax and to not kick a thousand balls during the game. <laughs> 
and to just be ready for the moment. When, when you when you, you said you Googled the best football cultures and stuff like that, and maybe some other schools came up, but what was it about Boise State that really drew you? And, and, and you know, so far, I mean, it seems like it's been a good match. Yeah, um, so I originally looked at the roster and they only had one kicker, so that was a bonus. <laughs> and then also just like, um, like I said, the culture came up, like the, the Fiesta Bowls, they, uh, they won the blue collar hard work. I mean, all that stuff just came up and it just looked like a place I wanted to be at. So. Had you ever been anywhere close to here? You're no. from Florida, so. <laughs> no way, I'm definitely an East Coast guy. You know, the snow sucks, so. <laughs> but, yeah, I love it. It's, Boise is a great city. Like I said, our fans are awesome. This community is great. I'm glad to be a part of it. So you came in here in January then, so welcome. That was probably the, the best yeah. way to greet you. Yeah. <laughs> what, the, I mean, where, what was the day or what click that you just wanted to stay, sat down? Where were you when you sat down and began this? Did this Google search? Uh, it was probably after uh, the, I got a phone call from the NC State, NC State special teams coach telling me that he was leaving to go to Western Kentucky. That um, that I really sat down. I was like, Wow, do I want to sit out another semester or do I want to go somewhere and play? And so I just sat down on my computer, Googled it, and then emailed Boise State and sent out a couple other emails, and then just I guess fell here. So. So if you didn't uh, 